the spiky issue of what to do about Edinburgh and Scotland's short-term let boom can be seen in exchanges between ministers, civil servants and representatives of the short-term rental sector, including Airbnb. In a letter to the Scottish Government, Airbnb described plans for a registration scheme for short-term lets as one of the most regressive regulatory regimes anywhere in the world. The Association for Scottish Self-Caterers, which represents the interests of the sector, said that plans for a local scheme in Edinburgh were a blunt tool that would spell the death knell for the professional industry. And their language gets stronger. It describes a working group set up by the government to discuss the issue as a sham and that tourist bodies had been treated with utter contempt. The result of all these back and forth exchanges, Airbnb and the other tourist bodies walked away from the working group last month and there's still no registration scheme. Fiona Campbell runs the Association of Scotland's Self-Caterers. You call that a sham? You said it was a sham working group? It, yeah, it was, it was a sham. We, we think it was a smokescreen to say that they had worked with the industry to amend the licensing order and amend the guidance. They did not. They simply did not. It is disingenuous at best to suggest that it did and duplicitous at worst. What we are now saying is if the Scottish Government is intent on delivering a licensing scheme, then they should exempt registered accommodation. So essentially amateur operators, people who put their flat on Airbnb, would be the ones who would be subjected to this legislation, this regulation, versus... Protecting yeah. the professional businesses, absolutely. We put that to the new Cabinet Secretary with responsibility for housing. Well, obviously, we never want people to walk away from a, a working group and you know, we, we would want to continue to engage. Now, the, the two meetings that I've had with, uh, with the association and Airbnb since that meeting, they've expressed an interest in continuing to work with the Scottish Government. But we also have to balance their interests with the interests of those local people who have raised serious concerns about the impact of short-term lets. Airbnb told us... Airbnb has long called for clear rules that work for everyone in Scotland. And while we are concerned about the impact the government's measures could have on local families wanting to host, we are confident that we can address the issues by working together with local authorities as the rules are implemented. In reality, though, holiday lets are only a recent concern. The pressure on social housing started years before online booking platforms in Edinburgh, on average, there is a two-year wait to be rehoused by a local authority that sold 40,000 homes under right to buy. 